Check your beard and ready to sit down. Then do one more. With me? Yeah. Uh, let me take a piss for it real quick. Real quick. Hey, Geek, can you stop my camera? Oh, it's already going. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. All right, come on. Where are you going? my glass go? Because Chad's going to kick us out here soon. Oh, yeah, I forgot oh, there's, about there's that. There's my glass. How the fuck did he get over here? Sorry we came in this case. <laughs> Sorry we came in your glass. Okay, so oh, it's like, a, come like on, this guys. crazy case. I actually like, had to come in my glass. It's like, uh, like an egg carton. Oh, and shit. Told like, you once. You could literally just slam it against ground. Boxing rocks, the next Probably chapter. Probably new age. It's from Nova Scotia. I like Nova Scotia. Where am I going? Like right. Yulin, Yulin here. Let me get. Uh, okay. Where's my bottle open? Oh, nipple twist. Oh, here, wait. Let me wash this, and then I'll just do it. Sure. Start. Ow. Get started now. Fuck. My bar, my bar fly sticky. Yeah. There's more of this beer left. I mean, at this point, I'm right. I'm a little drunk, so I may not give it as honest a review as I can. All right, great. White no, balance. I'll give it a super honest. White review. balance. Doing this one with me. I'll do it. Alpha tits. All right. All right. Alright, hey there beer tube, welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. We've got Greg who wants to tongue me for some fucking reason. Uh, we've got Matt from Massive Beer Reviews, Guy behind the camera operating, and we got the whole crew behind us. Oh, uh, dude, don't touch yourself, man. It's his balls it's not, he's touching. Fuck. We've got Boxing Rocks, the next chapter, Rye India Pale Ale. This is a beer for Nova Scotia, and actually one cool thing is Boxing Rock has not yet released any good beers in uh, New Brunswick, other than maybe uh, uh, Vickers Cross is available at one of the pubs, whatever. Uh, anyway. So basically, uh, fuck them. <laughs> no, they're a relatively new brewery over in Nova Scotia from Shelburne, I think. Oh, basically, don't fuck them. Yeah, Shelburne, Nova Scotia, and they're... Um, this one here is special because this is a collaboration brew with uh, Andrew, I think it's Andrew S. D. Estabrooks, formerly of Pickaroon's Brewing. Uh, he's gone out on his own and uh, he did a collaboration with Boxing Rock on this one. And this is the Rye India Pale Ale. This is 6.3 ABV. That's a 650 milliliter bottle. This one was a very special one, and this one actually came in in New Brunswick shell, uh, liquor store shelves and disappeared rather quickly. So let's pop the top off of this one and take a look. It was, uh, oh, geese fucking right in was there. It, what, like about less than a month? Old? Like how long? Oh, yeah, it's about a month. Oh, he's hoity, hoity, hoity. About a month, old, month ago. Did the deep potatoes? And then, of course, I mailed it up, and then Paul wants to fucking kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get what. Well, Paul. I'm attracted. Like, dude. I'm attracting the wrong flies with this honey. <laughs> Who's not? <laughs> Who the hell is Do you have a glass for Paul? No. No? You want one? I do, actually. Alright. Right there. Hey, what is, what what is, is this? It? It's a rye IPA. Oh. Yeah, anybody oh, yeah. else want some? Joe? Fuck. Hey, Joe fucking crap. wants it all. Just a little bit. Smack glass. Put him half the bottle. Pour him half the bottle. Joe did the potatoes. Look at that. Golden amber appearance. Tan colored head. Give it a sniff. Oh, oh, that's, that's a really it. nice smell. That's good. Tininess nice. with a nice mm, malt background. Yeah. Like, it's like it's pine, super, like piney, it's pine, piney but there's grapefruit. a lot of citrus. I was gonna say like yeah, caramel, pine, pine uh, citrus. Yeah. And also yeah. a bit oh, peppery, nice. right? Yeah. Citrus. I, I I am getting that rye coming yeah. through. I am getting a little bit of like sharp. And it's almost stuff. It, the rye almost it's, gives it like um, this bubblegum kind of smell. The weird part about Bubble this, tits. it's not like the it's juice of, of like some people when they think of grapefruit, all these like, different notes, oh. they're thinking of the juice. No, it's that smell you get when you smell no. the fruit. No. He mm. says. That smell that you no. get when you smell it. No. It's like bubblegum really stripper tits. Fresh. Tits. Yeah. fresh no, Montreal yeah, strippers. Yeah, I get what you mean. Like well, the fresh cut orange. Juicy. Just, yeah. just straight up juicy. Juicy. What does that mean? The taste, the taste, the taste. It's gonna move ya. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. they're too long. <laughs> what? No, right? that's not the average. Seriously, you want to fuck him in the ass after the first season lane tonight? Look, listen to me. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I am well. All right, let's put her down the hatch. Like strawberry. Cheers, dude. Like strawberry. Hey, Joe. Strawberry Joe, cheers this, you fucker. That's really spicy. Yeah, you're right. I get strawberry you taste on the ritz. Strawberry. Yeah, like a, like way strawberry less muted. I don't get fucking... Muted in the mouth than it is in the nose. Like, way less Very muted in the mouth. Very piney, resiny, peppery, resiny. Peppery, resiny. Very, and then a lingering well, resiny. I don't know that that dry, that, that, do that like peppery dryness is pretty... <laughs> And, um, and you're right, it's got a little bit like the strawberry kind of flavor. Why did they give the beast? Strawberry pepper. Underlying that, that resin pine. 
And it's just, nice, but it's just like, oh, so like, the white um, uh, watery, a little bit um, muted. Like, there's really not much there yeah, for the, me. The, the, the nose, the taste, the taste doesn't yeah, back. Yeah, but the mouth isn't that bad. The taste doesn't yeah. back the nose. You don't get yeah, 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 yeah. all those nice notes. Ooh, that, uh, the pine shines through. I mean, that's the biggest thing for me. It is peppery and it's bubble tits. It is very dry. Let's look at the bubble gum. Look at the bubble gum in the taste, but it's so dialed back. Yeah, strawberry, red berry kind of thing in the nose, but the taste is kind of like dialed back a little bit more citrus. 7.5 out of 10, a little battery. The drink's yeah. really nice. Yeah, I can fucking crush it. Yeah, I'd say, here. I'd yeah. say, I'd say three and a half. Three, three, no, three, seven, five. I'll get three, seven, five out of five. What do you guys think? Uh, out of a hundred, I would give it like an eight street. Okay. I give it about a seven and a half right. out of ten. Same for me. That's good. Seven and a half. Joe? Probably seven. Seven? Super, 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 super right. I, You don't get like all those nice flavors that I'm getting out of the nose. I'll probably give it well, a six um, five. All right. Cool. Yeah, super dry. Right. Right. Well, 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 there you have it. That's what we thought of uh, Boxing Rocks next chapter. It's great to take off the next rock. chapter with uh, these folks here. Beer tubers unite. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you folks later. Alright, so here's the deal.